A diagnosis of any kind can have a psychological impact on an individual, but a cancer diagnosis can be particularly frightening, with treatment potentially being accompanied by unpleasant side effects. Medical device company Oncobeta have developed a safe, non-invasive therapy for non-melanoma skin cancer, which could greatly improve patient experience and outcomes. The incidence of non-melanoma skin cancer has been rising dramatically in recent decades. It is highly curable if detected early, but can still have a devastating impact on people's lives, resulting in surgery and sometimes gruelling rounds of radiotherapy. Numbers are increasing. In the UK, around 150,000 new cases of non-melanoma skin cancer are diagnosed each year. Non-melanoma skin cancer most often develops on the areas of the skin that are regularly exposed to the sun, such as the face, shoulders, chest and back. So this may be long-term exposure over prolonged periods or short bursts where the skin has been burnt. But now a new innovative treatment option known as Rhenium Skin Cancer Therapy from Oncobeta could bring fresh hope to some patients. It's already available in some parts of the world and currently undergoing a trial here in the UK. A protective foil is placed over a lesion and a radioactive paste applied to the treatment area. Radiation particles penetrate through the foil and the skin to a depth of three millimetres, targeting the tumour but preserving healthy tissue. It's non-invasive, precise and personalised and often requires only a single treatment. The similarities are that it is just a form of radiotherapy, so in, in some respects you could think that it's something that's been around for many, many years and for skin cancer. But it also has advantages of the way it's delivered compared to conventional radiotherapy in terms of not needing the radiotherapy equipment, not having to have multiple treatments and we're anticipating that the side effect profile may be slightly different. The therapy is now readily available privately to self-pay patients in the UK with the hope that medical insurers will fund their policyholders in due course. And the trial, part of a much larger study, is measuring patient-reported outcomes as well as evaluating the efficacy of the treatment, with view to it hopefully becoming available on the NHS. And already, potential advantages are being identified for certain patient groups. There are several classes of patients who would find surgery difficult, either through frailty or the body site, or they might be on other drugs that make surgery difficult. So I myself see this as a treatment that could be useful for people with multiple non-melanoma skin cancers or people who can't cope with multiple visits to the hospital. We would think it's most suitable for older patients who may be unsuitable for conventional treatment or patients who have a tumour in, in such a place that conventional treatment would make it difficult. So for example, some tumours on the face may require quite complex surgery or perhaps slightly disfiguring surgery and um, patients might be more keen to have something uh, as an alternative to that. And it's a treatment which could be carried out much closer to where the patient lives. The attraction of this is we don't need any special rooms. It can be done in any hospital that's got a licence to have radiation and it's one visit. So for people who have to travel a distance or they're elderly or frail or other health conditions, it can be done in local centres. It doesn't need to be a regional centre, uh, which is different from standard radiotherapy. Onka Better's own CEO and managing director has had the treatment himself and believes it offers a real choice for patients with non-melanoma skin cancer. I've been a sufferer of non-melanoma skin cancer for over 20 years now. Um, I've had almost every treatment there is on the market. I was introduced to the Rhenium SCT in its early stages. Um, it was just before I was about to have an operation in skin grafting. So I went down, had the treatment, it was applied, I sat there, I read a magazine. After the calculated time was done, I got up and I went about my business. And that was it. It was that simple. 
When it comes to skin cancer research, it's important to continue to innovate. Oncobeta wants to make Rhenium SCT more accessible in as many countries as possible as a patient-friendly alternative for treating non-melanoma skin cancer.